And now, the Alan Handelman Show. It's the latest in technology, the cool gadgets and electronics centered around radio and audio with Bob Crane, the founder of the C. Crane Company. You know, we were talking before the break how a couple of acquaintances, actually only one, but an older guy, uh, he says, you know, radio is over. Everyone's listening online. Well, that's still listening to radio. I think uh, a lot of people think of uh, uh, radio as the, the, the box, but it's the programming and radio demand for radio and radio programming is through the roof if you count the Internet. You know, I get some of the trade magazines, and if you include Internet, then the use of radio is huge. It's gone up uh, the last few years. Mm-hmm. So I think that says it all right there. Uh, people enjoy radio as more than they ever have, and that includes youngins, too. If they're, It's including Pandora and all the other services, but you can only listen to the same music track so long, right? That's right. <laughs> By the way, as far as radios you offer, you have the Wi-Fi radio, or you, you have things on the drawing board to either update the Wi-Fi radio or maybe offer more Wi-Fi receiving opportunities? Yeah, we've, we're always working on the Wi-Fi radio side. It's been, I, I don't think we've been as fast as we'd like to, but at the same time, the technology has been advancing so fast in the background that if we put all our marbles into one of our projects, it would have cost us millions, where now it'll cost a heck of a lot less. So we're, we've been had to kind of go slow on purpose. Uh, some of these products are very difficult to build, and if they have technology that will make it easier, then, man, we should wait. And that technology is really here now, so we're in earnest starting on some really incredible uh, new Wi-Fi products. We hope to have something out maybe in a year or a year and a half would be more uh, likely. But I think it's very, uh, you'll see the, our dedication to the radio when it comes out. It's the cool electronics and gadgets, and it's, in many cases, designed with a custom kind of thought process from Bob Crane on what people want. For example, how many times in the past have you been driving down the road and you hear a great song, maybe it's that song you just rarely hear, and you wish your car radio or any radio for that matter had a record button. Well, no one's ever thought about that. Maybe now some are, but when it comes to Bob Crane, he already was on top of it a few years ago when he came out with the witness that not only records radio programming uh, on the fly, but also like a VCR. Uh, you can set it to record anytime and it'll record up to what about two weeks worth of programming and am not just fm right yeah, it's it's a remarkable uh little product where um i think it serves a person who wants to re- do the recording them theirself and have the recording in their hand you know not in the cloud i want this recording on my computer or on my device and it, it's the only product that really satisfies that need completely because it has am and fm radios on board too there's nothing else in the world that has that combination. The, the recording quality is very high. It uh, also has, uh, which is legal, it has a track-making ability when you're recording Internet music. Like if you want to record some tracks from, say, Pandora, you just put it on and it automatically creates tracks. And when you download that to your computer if you want to, then you have all your songs separated right there. Oh, no that's editing great. necessary. Uh, so that's a real nice tool. And then you could take that and, like you say, put it on a CD for somebody or put it onto your uh, other device that you can, you know, that you jog with or something. You have a really neat tool for that. And you don't need a computer. I mean, if you want to get your records from your stereo system onto this device, you send all, you have all the patch cords, all the configurations, whether it's quarter-inch stereo, eighth-inch stereo, RCAs, and you got it in this little package the size of a uh, what an iPod? Yeah, it's uh yeah, I think it's a small. It's gosh, my gosh, it's smaller than a pack of cigarettes. No one smokes anymore, but and the, about uh, half the thickness. I mean, it's <laughs> yeah. just small. Yeah, it's very cool. Puts it in your pocket, has a nice light up d- display. Yeah, so it's it's a perfect uh portable device too. It's it's so small and light you can take it anywhere. And I, you know, you can download all your podcasts and everything for it from it too. Uh, so it's it's really quite remarkable. The other thing that's remarkable about this too is it's on sale, and I don't think you're gonna 
It's it sold originally for two hundred dollars a few years ago. Uh, we're having uh, a blowout sale on the CC Witness for ninety nine dollars. Wow! Uh, and the accessory kit is twenty. So if you don't need the accessory kit. If you're, you know, if you have a computer, but it is kind of nice to have an AC adapter and some other things. Now, this is um, something I wanted to ask you about. I, I don't listen to shortwave as much as I used to, although I still have those times of the year. Seems to be around the holidays, Christmas, or maybe in the summertime, you know, you're out in your patio and you get one of these great shortwave radios, which you have several awesome radios. Has there been new technology that has improved the uh, reception and uh, eliminating some of the static and noise of shortwave listening? There's a long and a short answer. The short answer is, yes, a Wi-Fi radio. <laughs> you want to get one of those. <laughs> yeah. But the, the long answer is, n- n- there's an, a digital version of shortwave that came out, but it requires more bandwidth and a special receiver, and it's, it's kind of not really uh, at the point of success at the, uh, right now. But it's still fun. I think it's just in wonderment to hear uh, broadcasts from the other side of the world uh, once in a while. And, uh, you know, in case like India had a complete power failure, I mean, what other source would you have at that point outside the country? Mm-hmm. So it sounds silly. Oh, 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 it was so silly about, well, you know, half of India didn't have power. And obviously they had probably very few uh, radios on air, if any. But they could listen to BBC in London report on what's going on with the power. I'm sure they had good uh, results at that. So it's, it's, there's still a big use, and uh, it could be that shortwave is, uh, you know, regulated to a, a point when there's, uh, you know, big disasters going on. But they will, will happen. They always will. We're a human race, and that's, that's part of our race. Mm-hmm. Just to deal with that stuff. So I think it's always good to have something around to see what you can pick up. The uh, I mentioned in the um, as we came back from the break that you design many of the products. Now you'll notice in the catalog or when you go to the website ccrane.com, some of the uh, products are not yours, but they're products that you like. But there are ones that have C Crane on it, like the Wi-Fi antenna, like the the Witness, uh, the uh, uh, some of the other things that you like the Gozo. You designed it yourself. Talk about how that works. How you work with the manufacturer in Japan and who do, you know that well, I can find that fascinating. It is, it is. It's actually unbelievable, um, and it's very exciting and challenging at the same time. But you, it's not. It's not simple at all. So the first, the first thing you do is you you try to listen to the customers and find out a product that might work. Uh, hopefully you're not too indulgent and you make a product that you make and then it doesn't sell at all. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so you really do have to listen. But then the process is we'll go through a, a series of designs and it sometimes takes up to a year just to get the basic design, the physical design, because it has to be over time, it has to be done with great thought, and it has to be done with great precision. Then that's done into, uh, uh, at the same time, then you have an equally... Oh, complex list of features down to the detail. What happens when you hit this button? What happens when you do that? How do you set the clock? All that stuff. That page, you know, that can run 15 or 20 pages of uh, uh, single space lines of the directions on how it works. And when you're done with that, then you're ready to go find a manufacturer which one is best. And our quantities are low. Like a product is successful for us if we make 10,000 units a year. Well, that's small time for Apple and most other manufacturers. So right. it, 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 by necessity, we always consider the United States to have a product made, and we do have one or two on the books that we're going to have made in the United States. But up until recently, it hasn't been possible. There's no one to really make those low quantities, uh, and we can't form a factory ourselves based on it. So that's why we go to China And then we have trusted partners that we've worked with for, in some cases, 30 years. And uh, they have to uh, to do things to high quality. We have full-time sea crane help in uh, China and Hong Kong to make sure that the quality is exactly what we want, and they work together as a team. We don't work as adversaries with our manufacturers. We work as a team. And that produces a lot better results. It takes a long time to build that trust with the manufacturers. But then, believe it or not, we have partnerships that are uh, that really span the two uh, cultures. 
In others, there's a lot of trust. Like they don't send us a bill for a lot of money sometimes. We have to tell them. That type of trust. Wow. <laughs> it's not based on money. The people that we work with love radio as much as ourselves. Uh, so they understand our feelings. Like uh, one of the latest products we have now, uh, we're going all digital chips inside, which is the first time for us. And there's some really big problems on trying to make them work right. So we found the display, the LCD display, was making a little noise. So we actually shut off the display. If you're an AMDX, or you can shut off the display and get rid of the little hum in the background. Right, like with the witness, I think. Yeah, you can do that with the witness, too. That's right. So we're putting that on a consumer radio, which is very unusual. By speaking speaking of the witness, uh, uh, any radio people out there that, or you know, television people, you need audio and you're doing audio on the fly. You could plug in. It has a built-in mic, by the way. But you could plug in a high-quality mic into that thing, and you're getting broadcast quality fidelity from this little device in your pocket. And it, it, I know a lot of people using it for that. So that's another thing for the witness. Yeah, and it has its own mic, so you can do just memos or anything you want, and it makes a track and saves it under a different name so you can retrieve it. Mm -hmm. And you can transfer them out into your own folder on a computer, and, and you don't need any of that. You can work it all by itself, which is also really a lot of fun. It's must-have electronics and audio, especially for the radio lover. Bob Crane, the founder of the C. Crane Company, will be come back, and later, it's the 40th anniversary of Animal House. So what happened behind the scenes of making Animal House? We're going to talk to the guy who made the movie. He also was the founder of National Lampoon. That's coming up later. Stay tuned for more of The Alan Handelman Show. I know you're like me when it comes to your dog and your cat. I know you love them, and you wouldn't knowingly feed your dog or cat food with ingredients that weren't good for them. And you certainly wouldn't feed them ingredients that were harmful to them. But when you're buying dog and cat food at the supermarket, it's a crapshoot to what you're getting. Read the ingredients. Don't just look at the colorful pictures and vegetables on the package. And if you see meat byproducts in the list, don't buy it. Just Google what's in meat byproducts. And look at the list. If you see preservatives and fillers and byproducts and chemicals, think twice. If these things have been banned for human consumption... Why would you feed it to your pets? And you're not going to find dog and cat food on the shelf at the supermarket that says all ingredients come from American sources. And that's where the pet pantry at FeedYourPets.com comes in. They offer and deliver only the brands of pet food that are all natural and use holistic human-grade ingredients that are wheat and corn free, have no byproducts, no fillers, no chemicals, and guaranteed that all food comes from American sources, not China. So now you're thinking, well, it's gotta be too expensive, but it's not. It's essentially the price you're already paying. Feedyourpets.com, they deliver anywhere you're hearing my voice, but for North Carolina listeners, they deliver free in the Triangle and Triad. And here's how you get $5 off your first order. Use this code, Alan, feedyourpets.com. Remember this website, pass it along to friends, feedyourpets.com. Attention business owners and individuals who owe the IRS. Do you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes? You need aggressive representation. Call Certified Tax now and speak to one of our tax attorneys, enrolled agents, or tax professionals who specialize in tax liens, back taxes, tax debt, wage garnishment, and collections. We won't waste your time. Instead, we'll be on the phone with the IRS within 30 minutes of you becoming a client. And you can become a client right now. We've settled millions of dollars in tax issues for a fraction of the cost. Find the peace of mind knowing the IRS will not be knocking at your door. Protect your home, business, and family today. We know the tax laws, and we act fast. Call today for your free, no-obligation consultation. 1-800-694-1127. Remember, we'll be on the phone with the IRS within 30 minutes of you becoming a client. That's guaranteed. Call Certified Tax at 800-694-1127. That's 800-694-1127. Again, 800-694-1127. Hey, this is Phil Lesh from The Grateful Dead. You're listening to The Alan Handelman Show. It is great to have you back. Coming up later, Fat, Drunk, and Stupid, the inside story behind the making of Animal House by the founder of National Lampoon. 
He was the one fighting the studios to get Animal House made in the first place. It's a great story. That's coming up later in the next hour. As we continue with Bob Crane talking about electronics and gadgets and innovation, things that you didn't even know existed. Yeah, this is fun. It is. It is. All right. You know, I, I compliment you, Alan. I know why you're successful, and that's because you're able to be as a friend to your listeners. And very few people in the radio world accomplish that. So thank you. Oh, well, thank you for that. I, I yeah. appreciate that. A lot of things happening in the summer, and we're getting into the uh, bad weather season. I noticed a product that uh, I think is very cool. I, I, I overlooked it before on previous shows. It's the Base Camp Radio. Uh, it lets you actually get on a microphone and transmit for help, I guess. Yeah, it does. And there's little walkie-talkies that go along with it. Those are not our product. But that's a product that serves our radio community, and it's very important. That's a Midland product. Very difficult to keep in stock, uh, but we do have managed to do that most of the time. And uh, it's it's a great. It's not the, the the quality is not remarkable. What's outstanding is what you get for the money. I've never seen a transmitter. Uh, for the the base camp for I think what is it eighty dollars and the other walkie talkies two for twenty five. Mm-hmm. I've never seen anything go this distance and be of this quality for those low prices. And the frequency it's on it's not the CB frequency it's the uh, emergency frequency. Well, it's a GMRS uh, including all the bands, so you can talk uh, on quite a bit. Of, uh, it's about four hundred megahertz, and so it goes. Uh, but it, it'll go about. Hmm, I did it from my house to work, which is a distance of three miles, and then I took it down below a hill and actually managed to go through uh, a hill at, at the two-mile mark. It, it's a really remarkable quality uh, for the distance. They say it'll transmit up to, I don't know, 18 miles or something. I don't know if i go with that, but it, it'll make it. But, you know, in the city environment, we've never had such a low-cost walkie-talkie system that'll go even uh, more than a, a, a few blocks. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. By the way... I know from firsthand experience, and this is something that uh, I really appreciate, because in this day and age, to find customer service in a company that will remember you purchased something, and maybe seven months down the line, they realize there was a defect, they contact you. Well, that's what happened. I know on, on a, a recorder that I have, the uh, the Sanjian, uh, what is it, the D1, the batteries, apparently, in some of the units, the uh, uh, there was a little bit of a problem. So you immediately, your company sent a letter that you'll replace it. You didn't have to complain. You didn't have to call and ask for the help. You offered it. And that, that you don't find very often. Well, you know, normally the FTC is dry, dry, going down your back to do that happen. If we have a problem with the product, uh, we take care of it. And, you know, we're not perfect, we're human. But in this case, there was a clear possibility that there's, there's something wrong. And so we contacted the customer. And this is without, um, how can I say this? This is on our own volition we did this. No one asked us to do this. Uh, we did not get support from anyone to do this. Yeah, and it means a lot. I have a friend that uh, uh, purchased something from you, a radio that he loves. It's the EP we'll talk about in just a bit. But he uh, noticed that, on that particular radio, it, the, the signal might drift a little bit. Now, he's a perfectionist. He's like one of those old radio guys, you know. Yeah. Uh, but he, he called. They immediately, you guys, sent him a new one. And, you know, he didn't. there's no connection to me other than he didn't mention anything to get special attention. You, they sent him a new one immediately, and they <laughs> sent the old one back. That's service. And yeah. I want people to know about that. You know, and I, I, I agree with you, but if we can't serve our customers and we can't do a great job, then why the heck are we here? So that's part of our crew here is dedicated to make sure they take care of each customer one at a time, one product at a time, and make sure that they're satisfied. And they, you know, I think the worst case is we never want anybody to get gypped. We don't want them to feel gypped, and we certainly don't want them to be gypped. So that, that's very important for us. Let's talk about LED lights. Growing in popularity, you were kind of a pioneer in this. You have a great spotlight that uh, is probably the best flashlight I've ever seen in my life. It rubberized handle, you know, the... The CC spotlight. Yeah, yeah. the CC spotlight. So I, I want you to talk about, is it now worth it for people who are thinking of converting? We were the we were the bleeding edge in LED technology. We had the first bulb approved by FCC and UL listing. 
That's a huge achievement for a tiny little company. Now, they were very expensive. Now they're down to one quarter of that price, but initially they were just too expensive. And so we, we, had, we haven't gained market share the way we should have or have a, or have a right to. But the, the bulbs we have are remarkable uh, for you know, uh, $25, a regular incandescent bulb. It pays off if you run it 24 hours uh, at, uh, at six months, and it's guaranteed for five years. I don't think you need to be a rocket scientist to do the math. It's uh, it's remarkable uh, return on investment. How does that compare to fluorescent? You even beat fluorescent at those prices, not by a heck of a lot, but you definitely beat them, and you don't need to change the bulb, and you don't need to have mercury, and you don't need to throw a, a toxic piece of uh, equipment away. So it's it's well worth it, but with a caveat. You want to replace the bulbs you use uh, often. The ones you leave on overnight over the kitchen sink, that's the one that should be replaced immediately. And ones that are on 12 hours a day, uh, you'll do that. And we're finding that we have many customers that will buy one a year or two a year or three a year. And then (laughs) that's how they do it. And then they end up buying more and more because they just love them. You mean uh, they should replace them even before they burn out? Well, sure. You, you uh, a sixty watt bulb uses sixty dollars worth of electricity a year. Oh, you're talking about the old style, not the yeah. the, the LEDs. Well, sure, but right. Look at it this way: is that even a fluorescent uses about uh, fifteen a year? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we're using just a few dollars a year. Right. Yeah, so and and now this is the thing that I like, and I have. My whole studio, I think there's one light I couldn't uh, use the LED bulb, but I have in my studio all LED bulbs I bought from you, got from you, and I got to tell you something. The the copy that I read from, I can see better. It, it's the light makes the print stand out. It's more like sunlight in a way, but the fluorescence, it's just not as vivid. The contrast, I guess. Is that something that's part of the LED technology that... Yeah, it wasn't done on purpose, but you have a you know a, a higher wavelength that's more like sunlight. You know, people think that incandescent bulbs and incandescent bulbs are very romantic, and that warm color is very romantic. And you can get LEDs in that color too. But for working or general purpose like a kitchen, you know, it's nice to have a brighter color uh, that's more like sunlight or a bluer color, and that gives you uh, that's a finer wavelength, and it defines the letters on a piece of paper which with more precision. All right, we're going to take a break here. One more segment left with Bob Crane and go to the website, request a free catalog. You can either request it online and you can certainly call this number and you don't have to buy anything. It's 800-522-8863, 800-522-8863 or go to ccrane.com. Stay tuned for more of the Alan Handelman Show. Attention business owners and individuals who owe the IRS. Do you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes? You need aggressive representation. Call Certified Tax now and speak to one of our tax attorneys, enrolled agents, or tax professionals who specialize in tax liens, back taxes, tax debt, wage garnishment, and collections. We won't waste your time. Instead, we'll be on the phone with the IRS within 30 minutes of you becoming a client. And you can become a client right now. We've settled millions of dollars in tax issues for a fraction of the cost. Find the peace of mind knowing the IRS will not be knocking at your door. Protect your home, business, and family today. We know the tax laws, and we act fast. Call today for your free, no-obligation consultation. 1-800-694-1127. Remember, we'll be on the phone with the IRS within 30 minutes of you becoming a client. That's guaranteed. Call Certified Tax at 800-694-1127. That's 800-694-1127. Again, 800-694-1127. My computer or on my device, and it, it's the only product that really satisfies that need completely because it has AM and FM radios on board too. There's nothing else in the world that has that combination. The, the recording quality is very high. It uh, also has, uh, which is legal, it has a track making ability when you're recording internet music, like if you want to record some tracks from, say, Pandora. You just put it on, and it automatically creates tracks. And when you download that to your computer, if you want to, then you have all your songs separated right there. Oh, no that's editing great. necessary. Uh, so that's a real nice tool. And then you could take that and, like you say, put it on a CD for somebody or put it onto your uh, other device so you can 
you know, that you jog with or something. You have a really neat tool for that. And you don't need a computer. I mean, if you want to get your records from your stereo system onto this device, you send all, you have all the patch cords, all the configurations, whether it's quarter-inch stereo, eighth-inch stereo, RCAs, and you got it in this little package the size of a, uh, what, an iPod? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I think it's a small, it's, Gosh, my gosh, it's smaller than a pack of cigarettes. No one smokes anymore, but... And the, about uh, half the thickness. I mean, it's yeah. just small. Yeah, it's very cool. Foots in your pocket, has a nice light-up display. Yeah, so it's it's a perfect uh, portable device, too. It's it's so small and light, you can take it anywhere. And, I, you know, you can download all your podcasts and everything for it from it, too. Uh, so it's, it's really cool. And now, the Alan Handelman Show. It's the latest in technology, the cool gadgets and electronics centered around radio and audio with Bob Crane, the founder of the C. Crane Company. You know, we were talking before the break how a couple of acquaintances, actually only one, but an older guy, uh, he says, you know, radio is over. Everyone's listening online well, that's still listening to radio. I think uh, a lot of people think of uh, uh, radio as the, the, the box, but it's the programming. And radio, demand for radio and radio programming is through the roof if you count the Internet. You know, I get some of the trade magazines, and if you include Internet, then the use of radio is huge. It's gone up uh, the last few years. Mm-hmm. So I think that says it all right there. Uh, people enjoy radio as more than they ever have, and that includes youngins too. If they're, it's including Pandora and all the other services, but you can only listen to the same music track so long, right? That's right. <laughs> By the way, as far as radios you offer, you have the Wi-Fi radio, or you, you have things on the drawing board to either update the Wi-Fi radio or maybe offer more Wi-Fi receiving opportunities. Yeah, we we're always working on the Wi-Fi radio side. It's been I I don't think we've been as fast as we'd like to, but at the same time the technology has been advancing so fast in the background that if we put all our marbles into one of our projects it would have cost us millions. Where now it'll cost a heck of a lot less. So we we've been had to kind of go slow on purpose. Uh, some of these products are very difficult to build, and if they have technology that will make it easier, then, man, we should wait. And that technology is really here now, so we're in earnest starting on some really incredible uh, new Wi-Fi products. We hope to have something out maybe in a year or a year and a half would be more uh, likely, but I think it's very... Uh, you'll see the, our dedication to the radio when it comes out. It's the cool electronics and gadgets, and it's, in many cases designed with a custom kind of thought process from Bob Crane on what people want. For example, how many times in the past have you been driving down the road and you hear a great song, maybe it's that song you just rarely hear, and you wish your car radio or any radio for that matter had a record button? Well, no one's ever thought about that. Maybe now some are, but when it comes to Bob Crane, he already was on top of it a few years ago when he came out with the witness that not only records radio programming uh, on the fly, but also like a VCR. Uh, you can set it to record anytime, and it'll record up to, what, about two weeks' worth of programming and AM, not just FM, right? Yeah, it's, it's a remarkable uh, little product where um, I think it serves a person who wants to re- do the recording them- themselves and have the recording in their hand, you know, not in the cloud. I want this recording on quite remarkable. The other thing that's remarkable about this, too, is it's on sale. And I don't think you're going to – it's it sold originally for $200 a few years ago. Uh, we're having uh, a blowout sale on the CC Witness for $99. Wow. Uh, and the accessory kit is 20 So if you don't need the accessory kit – if you're, you know, if you have a computer, but it is kind of nice to have an AC adapter and some other things. Now, this is um, something I wanted to ask you about. I, I don't listen to shortwave as much as I used to, although I still have those times of the year. Seems to be around the holidays, Christmas, or maybe in the summertime, you know, you're out in your patio and you get one of these great shortwave radios, which you have several awesome radios. Has there been new technology that has improved the 
uh, reception and uh, eliminating some of the static and noise of shortwave listening? There's a long and a short answer. The short answer is, yes, a Wi-Fi radio. <laughs> you want to get one of those. <laughs> yeah. But the, the long answer is, n- there's an, a digital version of shortwave that came out, but it requires more bandwidth and a special receiver, and it's, it's kind of not really uh, at the point of success at the, uh, right now. But it's still fun. I think it's just in wonderment to hear uh, broadcasts from the other side of the world uh, once in a while. And, uh, you know, in case like India had a complete power failure, I mean, what other source would you have at that point outside the country? Mm -hmm. So it sounds silly. Oh, it was so silly about, well, you know, half of India didn't have power. And obviously they had probably very few uh, radios on air, if any. But they could listen to BBC in London report on what's going on with the power. I'm sure they had good uh, results at that. So it's, it's, there's still a big use, and uh, it could be that shortwave is, uh, you know, regulated to a, a point when there's, uh, you know, big disasters going on. But they will, will happen. They always will. We're a human race, and that's, that's part of our race. Mm-hmm. Just to deal with that stuff. So I think it's always good to have something around to see what you can pick up. The uh, I mentioned in the um, as we came back from the break that you design many of the products. Now you'll notice in the catalog or when you go to the website ccrane.com, some of the uh, products are not yours, but they're products that you like. But there are ones that have C Crane on it, like the Wi-Fi antenna, like the the witness, uh, the uh, uh, some of the other things that you like the Gozo. You designed it yourself. Talk about how that works. How you work with the manufacturer in Japan and who do, you know that well, I can find that fascinating. It is, it is. It's actually unbelievable, um, and it's very exciting and challenging at the same time. But you, it's not. It's not simple at all. So the first, the first thing you do is you you try to listen to the customers and find out a product that might work. Uh, Hopefully you're not too indulgent and you make a product that you make and then it doesn't sell at all. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so you really do have to listen. But then the process 